here we are towards the end of August, the time when we would expect some of those early calves that are supposed to start around the 1st of September, a few of those early ones are already showing up. That means to me that it's time to review the three stages of parturition or the three stages of calving that are going to take place when a normal birth actually occurs. Stage one of parturition takes place, then the, the research is variable on, on the, the length of time of stage one, anywhere from as short as four hours to as long as 24 hours. The key thing that's happening during stage one is due to the hormonal changes in the cow, there will be relaxation or dilation of the cervix. That's hard for us to see. It's certainly something that uh, unless we're ex actually examining the cow, we won't notice. What we can notice though, due to that same hormonal change, is some relaxation of the pelvic ligaments right around the tail head of the cow or the heifer. If you're watching closely, as they uh, uh, get into that stage one within the, la the last 24 hours before calving, you'll see a bit of a sunken appearance right around the tail head. A good clue to watch for as you're watching cows and heifers at the start of, of the calving season. The other things, of course, that happen in stage one is the behavioral changes that uh, we sometimes see, and that is, of course, the, the cow or heifer that separates herself from the rest of the herd, perhaps even kicks at her stomach, twitches her tail, acts uncomfortable, may lay down, get up, uh, just act a, a, a little bit abnormal. And again, that's a part of stage one. Now, stage two is where all the real action is. Stage two we define as when we first see the appearance of a water bag, and a lot of times we miss that one unless we're watching cows constantly, or the appearance of the baby calf's feet. That's when stage two begins. Stage two ends when the calf is actually completely delivered on the ground. Those that are having their first babies at, as two-year-olds, the length of time of stage two should be around one hour. If it's going much beyond that, perhaps there's something going wrong and she needs some help. In the case of the older cow, the one that's had calves before, she's already stretched all those ligaments. The average time that she is going to have that calf from the appearance of the water bag until complete delivery is only about a half an hour. Stage three is the cleaning of the cow, the releasing of the afterbirth, the placenta, and this particular uh, situation generally occurs within about the first eight hours after calving. If it doesn't, then we have what's commonly called a retained placenta. And that can uh, require some managerial uh, help as well. We really advise against the uh, concept of getting that cow up that's got a retained placenta and manually pulling it loose because we can do more damage to the uterine wall and uh, perhaps make that cow to where she's infertile, incapable of having calves in the future. If she's not cleaning within about that first day, then call your local veterinarian and get some advice as to how to treat that retained placenta. And you can do that to where we end up with a healthy cow that'll go on to be productive in next year and future years. When we see something that doesn't fit into those three categories and the time frame involved, then we know that we probably need to provide an assistance in order to uh, make sure we've got a healthy calf and a healthy cow after the calving season. We look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.